Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the huge BNGO BioNanoGenomic share offering that was just announced and how that share offering is going to impact the company and what effect it's going to have on their share price. But before we get started, only about 13% of you are actually subscribed to the channel, which is really low. So subscribe, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Now let's get into the video. Before we dive on over to those share offering documents, I just want to talk about the share price of BioNanoGenomics and what's been happening recently. So the value of the stock was hanging around that 50 cent mark for quite a while before exploding into the limelight and reaching around $7 a share. This massive increase in price was as a result of one of their articles being featured in the Journal of Personalized Medicine. This garnered a lot of attention to the company. People then researched the company, found out what it did and what they were about and invested. All this new demand caused the price to rise. The stock then started to fall after this initial inflow of hype had fizzled out and then took a bit more of a tumble after the announcement of this massive share offering. I'll talk about why the stock has actually fallen in a little bit, but let me show you what these share offering documents are all about. So we can see that BNGO have announced the offering of over 29 million shares. These are being offered to the public at around $3 a share, meaning that they're expected to raise around $90 million. There's also an option to issue another 4 million shares, meaning that they could potentially bring in an additional $12 million on top of that. So let's talk about why BNGO have issued so many shares. If we take a look at their financial statements, we can see that they've got around $19 million worth of cash held at their bank, which is a healthy amount. They also don't have loads and loads of overflowing useless inventory laying around, which is also good. They don't have amounts due to supplies that are spiraling out of control. They don't have waves and waves and hundreds of millions worth of long-term debt that they're struggling to repay. And they also don't have any scary provisions for lawsuits. They're also in a positive asset position, which is really, really important for a company to be in a positive net asset position. From a profit and loss position, they've generated around $4.5 million worth of revenue in 2020, which is down from around $7 million worth of revenue in 2019. Obviously, as most of their work is going to be laboratory based, it's fair enough to assume that they've been hit quite hard by the pandemic. But frankly, it's good that they're generating any turnover at this point in their life cycle. Their direct costs are also less than their revenue, which is also very positive. It means that they're not going out there and spending thousands on testing gear and then selling it for hundreds. They're actually selling their products for more than they buy them for and generating a profit. However, they do have a lot of R&D and general selling and administrative expenses, but this is also fairly typical for a company that's in its growth phase. Obviously, companies are going to be spending a lot on marketing, research, development, getting their name out there, and then when they make that breakthrough, boom, that's where all the money comes in. So even though they are generating a loss of between six to $10 million a quarter, which is 25 to $40 million a year, that's fairly typical for a company in its growth phase, especially in the medical field. When a medical company finally develops that cure or has a breakthrough in testing, that's where all the profits are. Looking at their cash flow, they also successfully repaid some of their old borrowings, which is good, and also issued some new shares to the public and to employees and directors, which is also good. This is a fairly cheap way of getting cash into the business because obviously this money doesn't have to be repaid and they don't have to pay interest on it either. Looking into the future, I think that BioNanogenomics or BNGO has a lot of potential. The global autism spectrum disorder diagnosis and treatment market stood at around $9 billion in 2019 and is expected to rise to around $12 billion by 2026. This is therefore a very big market for BioNanogenomics to operate in and if they can continue developing their testing platform, they could have one of the biggest testing platforms on the market and they would have one of the biggest analysis teams in the industry. This means that at some point in the future, BioNanogenomics could be generating billions of dollars of revenue every single year because at the end of the day, the autism spectrum isn't going to suddenly just disappear and there's currently no cure for autism. There's hundreds of thousands of babies every single year that are born with autism as well that would need testing and therapeutics. BNGO have issued all of these shares now to take advantage of their rapidly rising stock price. They've generated around $90 million worth of cash inflow by not issuing too many shares. And they can use all of this additional cash to really catapult their platform and get their brand name out there. 
With an additional $90 million of cash, not only will they be able to get their brand name out there and become significantly more well known, but they'll also have a lot of excess operating cash to continue paying their suppliers and survive another few years without having to do any new capital raisings. While you're enjoying this video, be sure to sign up to free trades using my link down below in the description to get a free share worth up to £200 when you invest a minimum of £1. Yep, that's right, you only have to invest £1 and you will get a free share worth up to £200. Now, I do think that it is slightly worrying that BNGO have issued these shares at around $3 per share when the share price on the day of the announcement was around $5 per share. Typically companies do issue new shares at a slight discount to the market rate because obviously no one's going to pay above the market value for new shares. But the downside is that this is going to pretty much drag the market value of the share down to $3 as well because obviously no one's going to be paying $5 a share when they can just wait a few days and buy the shares for $3 when they're newly issued. B&GO are also soon to hold their Symposium Day, which is a day similar to Neo Day, where they announce new products and new technologies. So it's likely that the stock is probably going to rebound by that day or on that day. And therefore it's quite unusual that B&GO have issued their new shares at such a discount to the current market rate. I guess they just wanted to be 100% sure that all of the newly issued shares would sell, rather than just some of them or most of them. But why did this cause the value of the stock to fall so much? Well, usually when a company issues new shares or announces that they're issuing new shares, the value of a stock always falls because it can suggest weakness. A stock issue is a cheap way of getting cash as you don't have to pay it back and you don't have to pay interest. It's sometimes seen as a bit of a last resort because obviously the owners of the company are going to lose control and they're going to lose their ownership. And therefore it can be seen as a bit of a desperation move because even though you don't have to pay it back and you don't have to pay interest like you do with typical bank loans, you do kind of lose that investor control. New share issues are also kind of bad for investors like you and I, because let's say that you owned a thousand shares in the company, which was 1% of the company, I mean it isn't, but let's just assume that it was, then if they issued new shares, then that thousand shares that you owned wouldn't be around 1% of the company, it would be say only half of a percent of the company. Because issuing new shares isn't some kind of crazy feat for a company, it's not like they've made some massive new discovery, the market capitalization of a company tends to not really change, and therefore the market capitalization of a company is just being divided among more shares, meaning that each individual share is worth less. But the positive news is that the share price of a company that's recently announced a new share issue usually bounces back very quickly. If we look at NEO for example, they announced back on the 11th of December that they were going to issue $3 billion worth of new shares. The stock then fell from around $46 a share to around $40 a share in only three days to the 14th of December, but by the 21st of December, the stock had passed both of those figures up to $49 a share, and the stock now trades at around $58 a share. In terms of my stock prediction, I think that the stock will continue to rise. BNGO can use all of this additional cash to continue getting their name out there and marketing the business. They can also distribute their product and services better and expand further overseas. I'm also really looking forward to the symposium day as I expect them to announce exactly how they're going to use this excess $90 million and they might also announce some new products and new services and this could be a really good catalyst for a potential coming price surge. BNGO has also held a stock value of over $1 for the previous 10 days and therefore is expected to remain on the NASDAQ instead of being downgraded to an OTC stock or a pink sheet stock and therefore keep all of this new liquidity it's just acquired. Analysts currently have their price target set up to around $7 a share, but these targets were set back in April 2020, which is a long time ago when the share was only trading for around 40 cents a share. I expect a lot of these analysts to reassess their expectations and increase their price targets to somewhere between $10 and $40 for the coming 12 months. All in all, I think BNGO are going to have a very bullish few weeks as the stock price is going to recover quickly from the share announcement. They've got their Symposium Day conference, which they could announce new products and new services, and they're not going to be delisted from the NASDAQ. I think that these announcements could push the stock value up to around $8 a share in the short, immediate term, and then steadily continue pushing the stock price higher to around $15 a share. 
If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Also, be sure to drop a like down below. I've literally just set up a Patreon page, so if you wanna head over there to support the channel, I've created a private Discord group for my Patreon members where I update you all on my exact stock holdings. I update the Patreon Discord group in real time almost instantly after I buy some new shares or sell off a position. There's also tons of other benefits on there like weekly live stream Q&As and one-to-one 24-7 access to me to ask me any questions that you might have. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.